Gear 11 here. And today, we got some mail. Four packages from you guys. I haven't purchased anything recently, but I probably will be getting some stuff soon. Been focusing on the boxes. But yeah, today we got some packages. We got three big ones and a smaller one. Two of them from James again. Somebody stopped this man. And then we got two other ones I'm not sure about. So yeah, let's open these up. I guess we'll start off with this small package from James. All right, so here it is. Let's open it up here. See what James sent this time around. Got a note, so let's read the note. Hey Ziri, here are a few more cards for you. I remember in one of your older vids mentioning you liked Andrew Shaw. Yes I do, I do like Andrew Shaw. He was alumni for the former junior team I follow, favorite player of my friend, and I just like Andrew Shaw, so. I know a lot of people don't, but there you go. So I thought I would send you a couple. I haven't had any luck pulling any Elias cards. Dang. Well, if I pull a Young Guns, I'll send it your way, but I haven't had luck with Elias either. I really don't have any luck when I open packs. I also get impatient, so I just buy the card I want. <laughs> I should be doing that for Elias as well, but I'm stubborn. I got more SBA on the way. So I haven't pulled any Elias cards, but I have bought a whole bunch of them. This hobby can be very expensive. $430. Sold for $50. Sold for $35. Sold for $10. And sold for $25. So I got $120 worth of cards for $430. Wow. All right, where were we, James? Keep making the videos. You are the best YouTuber in my opinion, James. All right, James, thanks again. And we'll see what he sent this time around. All right, first card here is a Gary Price Joker Heart. Oh my gosh, I see the next card. <laughs> yeah, Joker Heart of Carrie Price. Hopefully Carrie Price is in one of these. Uh, stay tuned, I will be opening these in the coming weeks. But, I mean, I have a handful of these playing cards now. I don't know if I'll ever be able to complete the set, but there you go. All right, and then we have some cards here. <laughs> First card's awesome. Andrew Shaw, Day with the Cup. Oh, jeez, all right, there we go, unstick. But there's the first card, Andrew Shaw, Day with the Cup. My buddy actually has a... 2015 Stanley Cup Champions Blackhawks Andrew Shaw jersey. So that's awesome right there. <laughs> the dog on the boat. Yeah, I love Day with the Cup. I've only pulled one. It was a Michael for a leak. Sold it. Kind of regret it. But there you go. Andrew Shaw, Day with the Cup. That's so awesome. Day with the Cup, Andrew Shaw. While spending the morning of his Day with the Cup on Robin Lake in Ontario, Shaw surprised a couple about to be married, posing for pictures along with the trophy and the bride-to-be. That afternoon, he brought the cup to Quint Sports and Wellness Center in Belleville, where about 2,000 fans showed up to shake hands and have their pictures taken with two-time Stanley Cup champ. Later that day, he brought the chalice to the Belleville Fire Hall. So that's awesome. Day with the Cup, Andrew Shaw. That's so awesome. Love it. And the final card, we got Sign of the Times, nice. Andrew Shaw, 1617, SPA. Thought about opening another box because I'm freaking crazy. I was 1617, even though I don't need any of the cards, I just want the Matthews Black from there. That's all I really want now. But there you go, there's Andrew Shaw, Sign of the Times. Awesome. James, wow, thank you so much. Awesome. I am a fan of Andrew Shaw, so. All right, we got another thing from James. <laughs> Let's see what it is. Pretty freaking big, pretty heavy. Open it up here. Oh, whoa, what the heck? We got a tin of Premier. Okay, so we got a tin of 1617 Premier with Austin Matthews. I mean, that's pretty cool. I got the most recent one. I'm not going to dig it out. I'm not sure where it is. But yeah, there we go. We got a 1617 Premier of Austin Matthews. Obviously, there's stuff in here. Okay, we got some bubble wrap. Take it out here. Looks like this stuff really wanted to protect. Take that up there. Okay. All right. Wow, this is really well protected. What the heck is that? Is that like a coin or something? All right, let me open this up. All right, so let's let's check out what's in here. Uh. Okay. All right. First off, we got a. Is that a loony? Dang, a loony. Trial me, please, loony. That's cool. 1917. Uh, 2017. Actually, my grandfather actually collects currency, and I actually used to collect coins when I was a kid. I actually had a pretty decent coin collection when I was a kid, but that's really cool. Toronto Maple Leafs. Dollar. So that's cool. Like that. Next up, uh, we got a mascot card. Finn. Don't worry, Gritty. Nobody's replacing you. But there we go. We got a Finn. Was that from like, uh, from Subway? Hey, you got Pepsi, the thing I'm hooked on. Not Coke, Pepsi. But there you go. There's a Subway card of Finn. So that's cool. Upper deck, promo card, Finn. We got another playing card. We got PK, seven of clubs, right? Seven of clubs of PK, still on the Preds there. So there's another one. Oh, we got even more. We got even more playing cards. We got Leon Dreisettle, six of hearts. We got Brock Besser, 
Six of clubs. Six of clubs. Brock Besser. Oh, no freaking way. Oh, we got a, a tag. Bertuzzi. Star rookie auto. 1819. CHL. <laughs> Tag, the disrespect. He did not get drafted. He was draft eligible in 2019. He's now playing for Hamilton. What disrespect. He should go right ahead of Lafreniere first in 2020. But yeah, there's Uncle Todd's son, Tag. There's son Tag. I'm just going to call him son Tag and nephew Tyler. But there you go. There's son Tag Auto. So that's awesome. Tag Bertuzzi Auto. I got to go see a Hamilton game. Go, go see a Tag. His numbers aren't that great. Not going to lie, but there you go. Okay, next up. Ooh, we got a Merc Messi. Looks like it could be earlier 80s. Doesn't look late 80s. But oh yeah, we got a... It says 1982 there. So is that 82, 83? OPG? That's cool. Mark Messi. So that's cool. Mainly thanks to James. I have a bunch of uh, 80s cards. But there you go. And next up, it's got a canvas cart. Carter Hart. Jumping. That's cool. Carter Hart. Another one for my collection. There you go. Carter Hart in the back. Him squirting a Gatorade bottle. So that's cool. <laughs> the heck is this card what is this we got a wayne gretzky as a kid postcard upper deck was that from like the 90s yeah 99 upper deck postcards so that's cereal boxes right hespler tournament 1971 72 wayne gretzky that's quite interesting there you go no freaking way are you kidding me just saw the card wow <laughs> all right let me take it out of here oh geez oh we got a Josh Hosang Black Diamond Diamond Relic Rookies Triple Diamond because Josh he's one of the best prospects from 1718. <laughs> Look at that. Those are like factory made diamonds though. Still really cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Josh Hosang do not have this. Awesome. Josh Hosang Diamond Relic Rookies. Dang, I wish it wasn't so disorganized. I know I have a, a fresh, thick one touch somewhere around here. Can't even find my thick sleeves right now, but James, that's awesome. You got a Josh Hosang. I know I'm not a fan of Black Diamond, but that's still really cool. Number 66, the greatest to ever wear. Number 66, Josh Hosang. Number 31 and 99. Wow. But on the back, it says, Congratulations, you have received a trading card with three diamonds. Asterisk. We hope to enjoy your unique piece of trading card history as we continue to keep you as close as you can get. Enjoy your diamond card. Josh still hasn't played yet this year. Come on, Lou. Free him. Get him on a different team, all right? I think the best choice for him would probably eventually go play in the KHL. Probably go play for the Kunlun Red Star. I could see him doing that down the line, but I don't think another team's going to give him a chance. I Hopefully I'm wrong, but there you go. There's Josh O saying. Awesome. James, thank you so much. That's so awesome. I should uh, hunt Elias on your behalf. All right, next up is a big freaking box. No. Um, I think I have an idea of what that is and that, uh, why? All right, let's open this up. Yep, it's exactly what I think it is. But all right, well, we got holiday fan support for Ziri. Got an envelope, so let's open this up here. Ooh, long note. All right. Hi, Ziri. My name is Sean. I'm a big card collector too. I don't have many hot cards as you do, but I have a couple. I've checked out a bunch of your episodes. It's fun watching you summon up some gold gems. That McDavid four patch, four jersey, numbered auto is the... Might have to censor that word. As well, you have a nice collection of other fancy, without a doubt, not cheap cards. You seem to be sharp with the knowledge of me sport hockey. Of the sport hockey, I said me sport hockey. So keep up the good work. I decided to send you a fun-filled box with your favorite artifacts for the holidays. I added some quality pieces. There might even be an ungraded Gretzky rookie for you. I'm not rich, but I'm not a Scrooge. And you're a good guy. And the world needs more good guys with your type of honest passion. Because I sent you a little stack of cards, and that could get a little heavy for most collectors. If any of the cards are double or so on feel free to hook another brother or sister up if they have mad interest or give to some little kid or auction for some charity or whatever just have fun enjoy the up and adder holidays cheers to the 2020 year ahead good luck on breaking of case hits your friend sean all right sean oh this is great <laughs> first off there's an empty container in here now this is heavy as heck thankfully looks like it's already been open but geez, it had me worried there for a second. Looks like I'm gonna be opening it right here. All right, well, cue the music. 
I don't know if there's actually any artifacts in here, but I won't go crazy on this one. All right. Okay, here we go. It's heavy. Must have loaded this up. Oh, we got Merry Christmas. The beeping thing right there on the frickin' artifacts blaster. Beeping thing right there. All right, let's take these out. Okay, Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Okay, they've been resealed. That's good. Hopefully it's not hostile like your typical artifacts. All right, this is the artifacts opening. First pack. Not artifacts, yay. Okay. Thomas! Oh, we got a heater. Nice. Danny Heatley. Oh, these packs are great. We got a Patty Kane, Shining Stars Blue. 1516, right? 1516. Got a gold etchings from Tim's. Sid. There we go, Sid. Upper deck canvas from 1718. Sid. That's cool. Sidney Crosby. So that was a good pack. All right, next pack up. This one's pretty thick. Let's see what's in here. Oh, jeez. Uh, I guess we'll start here. Puma Tata. All right, next up. Got an Ovechkin. OPC Platinum Rainbow. I actually have the koozie of this, so that's 1819 Platinum. Looking forward to 1920. There you go, Ovechkin. That's the rainbow, that's cool. I wonder if you got this from the blaster. You got an NHL Remnants jersey of Will Butcher. Or is this a year before? No, this is 1920 Artifacts. This is one of your big hits from Artifacts retail. You can get a plain jersey. Next up, you got a Nolan Patrick. Parker's Red Rookies. This year they got the 94, 95 die cut rookies in their mega boxes. But there you go, there's a Nolan Patrick Red Rookie. We got a Fill the Thrill, UD Portraits. Fill the Thrill, awesome card, love it. And we got an in action of Evgeny Kuznetsov. In action, freaking koozie. There you go. Undeniably a heck of a player, but questionable actions, freaking bird clown. But there you go, there's koozie. All right, next pack of artifacts. All right. Dang, is there a hit per pack or close to it? Jeez. Thomas! Got a Brian Little, Platinum Rainbow, Brian Little. Got a Brandon Sod, OPG Rainbow from regular OPG. Or maybe that's Platinum as well. Oh, that's an update. That's an update from 1516 Series 2. Brandon Sod. And you got John Tavares. That's 1516 Tims, right? And 1516 Tims, John Tavares. And the final card is an 1819 Upper Deck Game Jersey, Brandon Sod. Nice, Brandon saw it. All right, continuing on here. Okay, oh nice. We got a Connor McDavid, OPG Platinum Rainbow. These Platinum Retro Rainbows are nice. Uh, I should have mentioned that they are retro, but there you go. Oh, that's a really cool canvas right there. Too bad it's creased the heck, that's eh, fine. It'll still look cool in the background. We got a Connor McDavid, Upper Deck Canvas. Facing off with Cindy Crosby there, so that's really cool. There you go, there's a picture of him at the Global Series. Not sure how it got all creased to heck like that, but that's still a cool card. Connor McDavid. Got a Jumbo Joe, Authentic Moments, from 1718 SBA. Got a Lights Out, frickin' fitting, Peter Morozik, Joe Thornton. There you go, Joe Thornton, Lights Out, and... Yevgeny Kuznetsov is the final card. All right, three more packs of artifacts. Man, this has been a good blaster so far. I'm surprised. All right. Thomas Tata. Got Adam Henrique artifacts. 1920 artifacts. Got an Adam Henrique. Is this like a player themed pack again? Got Adam Henrique 1617 clear cut from series one. Man, those boxes are like 200 bucks. You get a Series 1 Hobby Box to have a chance at pulling one of those. So that's cool. We got an Upper Deck Canvas, Adam Henrique. And we got Jacob Silverberg, Artifacts uh, Copper, Bronze. I'm going to 299, 283 of 299. There you go. And we got a Mealy of All right, continuing on here with Artifacts. Okay. Oh, we got a Parkhurst rookie preview. That horrible design there where it says preview of Andrei Svechikov. Heck of a player, but man, that's an ugly card. Got the canvas checklist. Ovechkin, Tarasenko. We got a Russian theme here. 
We got an Andrei Svechikov, marquee rookie, update. Ugh. We got a checklist from 1516 MVP, Alex Ovechkin, checklist silver script. And there it is, lights out. Only fitting that Ovi's right beside him there. Andrei Svechikov, lights out. There we go. All right, final pack of this artifacts blaster. Oh man, is there gonna be another Tatar here? Okay. Thomas Tatar! Got Casey Sezikis. I actually just pulled his canvas young guns. Casey Sezikis. Ooh, we got a Violet Pixels. Patty Kane from Platinum. From 1819 Platinum. Got a Tuka Rask. Shining Stars. And a Victor Rask. Now, why I do the Tuka Rask thing, can't show any footage because of legal reasons, but watch a Bruins home game and watch how the PA guy says Rask's name. <laughs> That's why I say Tuka Rask the way I do. All right, now let's open up this Christmas thing. Merry Christmas, bunch of tape. All right, first card here is a Parker's Santa Claus card. Okay, happy holidays. And it just has some crap. And then it has some crap there, but that's from early 90s pro set, Santa Claus. There's a seasonal background card. So I'll take it. Got an Eric Lindros, future superstar score card. So that's a rookie card of Eric Lindros. Next up, got a Toby Reader. Platinum, retro, red rainbow auto of Toby Reader. Zero goals with the Oilers. Been doing a bit better with the Calgary Flames, but there you go. That's cool. Toby Reader, platinum auto. Do not have his future watch or anything. It was a redemption, but there you go. And you got a Connor McDavid, Parkhurst Rookies. I opened so much of this stuff. So much of this stuff. The Parkhurst Mega Boxes from 1516. There you go. Connor McDavid. You got a Sergei Bobrovsky, Platinum Violet Pixels from 1819 Platinum. Oh man, I remember these. We got a crazy foil card of Mary Lemieux, Con Smythe Trophy winner. I believe this is from like, what, 92, 93 or 91, 92. It says 91 right there. So this must be a 91-92 card. Conn Smythe Trophy winner, because the Penguins won in 91 and 92. So that's cool. Foil card. I do remember those, even though they were before my time. Oh, we got... Oh, these are cool. Wow, these are really cool. We got a Conn Smythe Trophy. How old are these? Jeez. Well, it goes up to 1970. So I'm assuming these are right around 1970. So these are like 50-year-old cards. Got the Calder Trophy and the Conn Smythe Trophy. The Conn Smythe, that's Maple Leaf Gardens right there. But wow, that's really cool. So Rookie of the Year, Playoff MVP Trophy. That's really cool. That's awesome. And there's some notable names that won the Calder. The 1967 Dave Keon for the Conn Smythe. This is interesting. Awarded annually to the most valuable player for his team in the entire playoffs. The winner receives $1,500. Ooh. Wow. $1,500. Dang. And there you go. Calder Trophy, Conn Smythe Trophy. Very cool. Got another Mary Lemieux card. Got a Leaf. The Leaf set. Mario Lemieux from like 93, 94 Leaf. You got a Mario Lemieux rookie scoring leaders. Beat up card, but this has rookie year. I mean, they, they kind of look similar. This rookie says 85. Is this like a rookie insert of Mario Lemieux rookie scoring leaders? Either way, that's pretty cool. Oh, we got a D boss. Dylan Larkin, Rookie Materials. One of my favorite years for Rookie Materials, even though 07, 08 is the best. I'm not gonna go grab more crap, I don't feel like it, but there you go, D-Boss. Dylan Larkin, you got a D-Boss. Glossy Rookies, Dylan Larkin, Black Parallel. So I think that's a tougher one to pull. I think I opened one of these before. Ah, <laughs> I could have just f***ed the whole video there, champ. One of my very early box breaks was a uh, Series 2 Glossy Box. I don't even know if I have it up on YouTube anymore. But there we go. D-Boss. Next up, we got a 1516. Fill the thrill. Franchise force. Awesome. 1516 was the first year for Tim's. Man, they let you weigh the packs. It got really hostile. These cards are much thicker than your current Franchise Force cards. But there you go. Feel the thrill. That's awesome. You got a Wayne Gretzky, Rainbow, 1819, Platinum. You got a Wayne Gretzky, Team Leaders card from OPG. It says 81 on there. But there you go, Wayne Gretzky. Only 164 points that year. Only 164. Not that great that year. 
Got a, what the heck is this? Gordy Howe? Don't know if that's a real autograph. Probably not. This thing is in really rough shape. It just looks like a picture. It doesn't look like a card, really. Number 18 of 48 photos. That's quite interesting, nonetheless. Gordy Howe, Mr. Hockey. We got the Stanley Cup. That's cool. Very cool. The Stanley Cup. There we go. Stanley Cup. Very cool. Look at that. Look how there's no names on there. Now they have to remove names every so often. I'm not sure how many years. Maybe 15 years they have to remove names, but there you go. There's the Stanley Cup. Oh, we got Brent Gretzky. Wayne's brother. <laughs> yeah, Wayne's brother. Top rookie. The greatest brother duo of all time, even though Brent barely played, right? Yeah, Brent's career stats are so minuscule. I can just throw them up here. Yeah, I didn't play much at all. There's Brent. Tampa Bay Lightning, early Tampa Bay Lightning, so that's quite interesting. And we got a Mario Lemieux Violet Pixels. All right, thanks so much, Sean. That was a really awesome package. Got a little worried there when I saw this. But yeah, thanks so much, Sean. That was an awesome package. All right, next up, another sizable box. Oh. All right, we got open first. So let's open this up. Open after the break, okay. Hey! Ziri and Ziri's viewers, my name is Alex and I've been watching your videos for a few years now and decided to send you a package for the holidays. Before we get to that, I want to tell you a little about myself. My favorite NHL teams are the Pittsburgh Penguins. I live about an hour from Pittsburgh. And the Edmonton Oilers. My favorite players are in order. Leon Draisaitl, Connor McDavid, Cindy Crosby, Mario Lemieux, and Wayne Gretzky. Mainly only collect Neon Leon now though. My favorite product is surprisingly perhaps Upper Deck Ice. I mainly open 2005, 14, 15, and 15, 16 products. I would love to see you break more 0506 and 1516 boxes. Especially odd 0506 products to go after Crosby and Ovechkin. I mean, 0506 stuff is pricey. I had a chance to get in the box of 0506 SBA, but I passed it up. Um, 0607 SBA, you can actually pull 0506 Future Watches. So you can actually pull Crosby and Vestian from 0607. So I might get a box of that eventually, but let's continue on here. I know both years are now pretty pricey, yeah. But I'd rather open older stuff than current stuff. In trade for me giving up these cards, I ask you to please take a moment and watch my 1415 Upper Deck Series 1 box review. My possible all-time favorite pull, besides the 1516 exquisite rookie signatures Connor McDavid I pulled from the first pack of the box of ice on release day, is on this video, and I think you'd definitely like it. If you want to send any players my way, I mainly only want Leon Dreisaitl. Again, please check out the video. I mean, this is my only Dreisaitl card. I still have this to open. I really do want a Dreisaitl Young Guns, so. All right, continue on here. Inside the box, there are a few separate team bags. Please save the front slash back bag for last. I included fillers so you can slow roll the cards in there. I hope you enjoy them. I pulled all the cards I sent you. There's also a separate paper and clothes for you to read after the break. Enjoy the cards. I know you definitely will love at least three of these. Best regards, Alex. All right, so that's the thing after the break. I'm assuming that's going to have like his channel in there, but I'm definitely intrigued at what he's talking about. But yeah, let's open this up. All right. Oh, it looks like we got a resealed triple deke box. Been meaning to get one of these, but can't go to America right now. And I don't have a passport. But there you go. There's a triple deep box. You only get these in the U.S. These are Fairfield, right? Fairfield. Yeah, not an MJ holding. Well, let's open this up. All right, there's two sections of it. I'm assuming the ones that aren't in cases, I'll go through first. So let's open it up. Pack tightly. All right, we got another mascot card. Got Mickey Moose. Mickey Moose. Manitoba Moose mascot. Dang, now I can have a full mascot background. Okay. Two AHL and two NHL, but there you go. There's there's Mickey Moose from 1617 AHL. Just pulled Chubby, got Finn, and of course, Gray. But let's continue on here. You got rookie inspirations, David Lenevu. Got David Lenevu. I think I think it was Lenevu. I always call him Lene Lenevu or whatever. But it's Cujo on the other side. That's the main one. 367 of 999. Is that from Rookie Update? What is that from? Yeah, it's from Rookie Update. 0506 Rookie Update. I think I can get some older rookie update, not 0506, but even older rookie update, but that's cool. Cujo and Lenevu. Lenevu's jersey is a photo shoot and Cujo's is game used, so that's interesting. Next up, we have a goal, Patrick Kane. We got a future watch, number 420. Nice. Of Phil DiGiuseppe. Phil DiGiuseppe. Future watch to 999. Got a wire photo. Is that from recent portfolio? I would assume it is 1516. Yeah, he's talking about opening a bunch of 1516. There's a Boreas Salming wire photo. Got a Superstars die cut from Platinum. Is that 1516? Geez. I love the die cuts from. 
1415, but there's that. We got Stars and Stripes, Austin Matthews from 2018 National Hockey Card Day. Yep, 2018. We got a murky rookie retro, Morgan Riley. We got a uh, hockey scrapbook, Andrew Raycroft. We got a Marcus Nasland hockey scrapbook. We got Yarmer Yager. We got another Marcus Nasland. You got a matted materials, Cujo, Beehive, Red Border. I'm opening some Beehive soon. Opening some 0607. I have the box over there. I don't feel like going to get it. But there you go. There's Beehive, Cujo with the Coyotes. You got Eddie Belfour, Hockey Scrapbook. Marty St. Louis, Hockey Scrapbook. Paul Correa, Hockey Scrapbook. You got a Mark Andre, Greg Nani, Future Watch from 0809, 147 of 999. Don't think I have that one. So that's good. You got a Hometown Heroes, Mark Messier, Rangers. That was like a common insert back in the mid to late 2000s. They had that from like 05, 06 to 07, 08. They had similar cards in McDonald's as well, but there you go. That's from 05, 06, once again. Oh, geez. Was this your autograph from the frickin' Triple Deke box? Jan Labraten, Sweden? Made him sign 3,000 of these? It's a frickin' phone card. Like, that's so, what the heck? Domestic U.S. calling only. Wow, phone card. Thrilling. $3. We got a Steve Eiserman, Hometown Heroes. We got a Roberto Longo, 0405 Pacific. There, Pacific. Roberto Longo, Jersey, that's cool. I got the Bertuzzi from that year. We got a Paul Correa, Hometown Heroes. Peter Forsberg, that's a cool background. We got Shane Doan, that's cool. We got a Black Ice, Felix Pavin, 1516 Platinum. Number 47 to 50, that's cool. Got Goal Celebrations, Ilya Kovalchuk. Got Goal Rush, Mike Medano. These are all 0506 and 1516 mainly. We got Trophy Talent, Marty Broder, that's cool. Destined for the Hall. Brendan Shanahan. Yeah, he went in in 2013. I got that Hall of Fame rings card. It's on eBay right now. Destined for the Hall, Joe Sackick. He's in the Hall, yep. Got Jonathan Taze, Platinum Rainbow. And we got an Alex Ovechkin, Season Highlights. That's a rookie year, Ovi. So there you go. Becomes second rookie in history to score 50 goals, 100 points. Wow. Okay, so I'm assuming this is the one he's talking about. The last one. So yeah, it says top right there. So let's open this one up first. Wait. Just one card? Just one card from 1516 SP Game Use. Thomas Tata! Jersey. Back when he was on the wings. There we go. Tatar. Copper jersey card. 1516 SP Game Use. 1516 SP Game Use is something I thought about getting. Fairly reasonably priced. But it wouldn't make for a great video. There's not that many cards in it. So there's a Tatar. Alright, so here's the last one. Last one here. First off, we got Draft Day Gems, John Tavares. Uh, how do I do this here? We got Future Star, Brett Hall. Be careful here. Future Star, Brett Hall. And you got Mary Lemieux here. It's a sticker, right? Peel here must be a sticker. There you go. It's interesting. We got Draft Day Gems, Austin Matthews. 2016 Angel Draft, first pick overall. I think that was a promotional thing. Tavares was also promotional, even though these were around like 10 years prior. And they had like draft steals, not first overall picks. But there's that. Matthews. Uh, <laughs> Josh Osang, P.O.E. Actually, what's the card on here? Oh, it's interesting. There's a Quinn Hughes, Draft Day Gems. Quinn Hughes. There you go. I got a program of excellence, Josh Hosang. Nice. Adding to the Hosang collection. P.O.E. 1718 Series 2. Okay. Then we got Phil Kessel, 1314 MVP. No, it's not an autograph. That's a facsimile autograph. Not real. And on the back, we have a hockey here as a fill. Okay. Oh, whoa. Okay. Number 10 of 15, is that? Whoa, what? No, <laughs> no way. It's a hockey here as auto, a fill. No way. And of course, it's 14, 15 series two. I'm just can't find any of that crap. But you have received a training card autograph by Phil. Wow. Look at that. Hockey heroes, 2010s. That's the last year I predicted hockey heroes. For now. But yeah, 14, 15 series two. 10 of 15 autograph of Phil. That's awesome. Okay, so let's open this. It says open after the break. What's it say? All right. Joss Hosang was in a jumbo pack at Target, which was the last pack they had. The Phil Kessel was behind the Darnell Nurse Young Guns in the last two packs at my local card shop. Sports Cards ETC. Well, if they still have 14, 15 Series 2, I would clear them out. That goes for anybody. Clear it out. It seems like they didn't make a whole lot of 14, 15 Series 2, and there's some really great Young Guns in there. Headlined by David Pasternak. But yeah, so there's that. So Alex, that's awesome. Thanks so much. I gotta find your channel. Or just message me or something. I gotta find your channel. But yeah, but yeah, wow, what a mail day.
So yeah, guys, there's another mail. Thank you to everybody that sent something. Thank you, James, once again. Thank you, Sean, and thank you, Alex. That was fantastic. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.